kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like how she a guan. Me say you want to taste it. You have to taste it. And when you taste it, you can't erase it. Hey, Jody cooking. Hey guys, it's Jody. Wagwan, wagwan. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, today I've got another amazing, delicious recipe for you all. As you can see in the title, I'm going to make some real Jamaican exobish fish. Yes, I'm telling you. This right here are going to be super, super delicious and so mouth watering. I know you all are going to enjoy it. So please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also do share it to someone that you know will enjoy it. Thank you all so much for all your love and your support. I really, really, really appreciate it. Stay tuned. So just before I show you all my ingredients, I just want to read you all a Bible verse and I pray that you all is blessed by it. So it's from Mark 10 verse 27. So this is the word of the Lord. Jesus said, with man, this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. Amen. I pray that you all is blessed by this word. I know that I do. Remember that God loves you so, 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 so much. Stay blessed and thank you all so much for the reading of the word of the Lord. So these are all of my ingredients that I will be using. This is my fish. I'm using yellowtail snapper and white snapper. Yes, you can use any fish of your liking. Okay. And I also have some sweet pepper that I cut. I have the yellow, the green, and the red. And this is off, okay? And this is at least one small carrot that I finely cut. As you can all see, my scotch bonnet pepper. And this is at least four that I'm using that I cut also. And at least one onion that I cut. And this is my pimento seed, otherwise as allspice. And this is at least two tablespoons. This is my white vinegar to make my escobish dressing. And these are all of my seasoning. Here I have one tablespoon of my fish seasoning, two teaspoons of my all-purpose seasoning, one and a half teaspoon of black pepper, and half teaspoon of salt. So I just want to show you guys quickly and how I cut my sweet pepper. I just remove this part, you know, the white part. Then just take a knife and just cut it like so. See that? Yeah, just like that. And also my carrot. Just want to show you all. Yeah, roughly this size. And with my scotch bonnet paper, I'm gonna cut it like this. You don't want it to be that big. Yeah, like this. I can smell the scotch bonnet paper. <laughs> smell real strong. So with my onion, just wanna do this very thinly. Yeah, like that. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like she a so I finished wash my fish in some lemon juice. And guys, if you want to know if your fish is fresh, make sure that the eye is bright. Yeah, just like so. They are nice and pretty. So it is a bit wet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a paper towel and just, you know, remove any excess water. Because you don't want when you're frying your fish, it stick to the pot. That's the worst thing. Turn it over and dry it. If you want to know how to scale fish, if you don't know how to scale fish, I have video on my channel and how I scale fish. So you guys can check it out. Or you can just make your, you know, the person that you buy the fish from, scale it and clean it up. Yeah. So that's done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slice my fish. 
take a knife and just slice it like so so that season will go right in there try not to pierce it too much just a little slice yeah like this I remember back in the days growing up in Jamaica I have an uncle he's a fisherman party big of yourself my uncle party <laughs> I remember every day he bring fish in. Sometimes we used to go seaside and get fish. Put the fish down a little bit and bony. I will never forget those days <laughs> as a little girl. Every day we we'll out at seaside, I wait for fish. Yeah, I used to love fish. So once my fish is all sliced, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix my seasoning. Let's mix it in. Yeah, like so. Gonna season it. Take it up. Gonna rub the season on. Even on the inside, put the season on the inside. I remember growing up also guys, Bone used to always stop on my throat when I eat fish. Because you know when you're young and you just want to eat your food because you're hungry. <laughs> I remember my mother have to buy bread. When she buy the bread, you have to swallow the bread with water. And as so comes the bone, go right down. It was so scary because whenever you swallow, you can... You know, you know so the bone is still at your throat. Let me know in the comment section if you ever eat fish and it stop at your throat. And how do you how do you get it down? So my fish is nicely, nicely seasoned. Yeah, ready to fry. So guys, as you can all see, I put my pot on my stove to fry my fish. And I add at least over three cups of oil. Yes, I'm using vegetable oil. You can use any oil of your choice. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wait on my oil to eat up. Then I add my fish. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a scotch bunny pepper to my pot, to my oil. And see how hot it is. Yeah. So that's what you want. And now I'm going to add my fish and I'm going to allow it to fry for at least 5 minutes on each side or until it became nice and golden. Take your time. So guys, I'm just going to add two at a time, yeah? Because I'm only frying four fish. So now guys, I'm going to turn over my fish. Nice and crispy. So now these fish are fried. So I'm just gonna remove them from my pot. Nice and golden. So now I'm gonna add my remaining fish. As I said, I'm only frying four fish.
So now I'm going to make my extra base dressing. So what I did, the same oil that I used to fry my fish, I add at least 4 tablespoons to my pot. So as you can see, it is all heated up. So now I'm going to add my onion first. And I'm also going to add my sweet pepper. Carrot, scotch bonnet pepper, pimento seed, and just a little bit of my fish seasoning, not a lot. I'm just gonna allow it to saute for at least a minute or so. Try not to make it be too soft. You want it to be nice and crunchy and colorful. So don't let it cook out too much. And I'm also gonna add at least two teaspoons of my sugar. And what the sugar does, it blends out the taste from the vinegar. And it also adds a lot of flavor to the fish. Just add a little bit. Just gonna leave it for at least a minute or so. And it is finished. So now I'm just going to plate up my fish and show you guys. I'm telling you, it is super crispy. This recipe right here, it is a must try. Just going to put it to a plate, as you can all see. It is fried to perfection. Let I show you how crispy it is. This is the best part. Now I'm going to add my extra beach dressing. Look at that. Just add it all over the fish. This looks so divine. I feel like I am in Elsha. Don't forget some hardware bread on the side or some festival. I have a video on my channel and how I make my festival. You guys can go and check it out. And of course, a soft drink, one of my favorite, cola champagne. Yes, this is it guys. This is how I make my Jamaican, real authentic Jamaican excavate fish. I'm telling you, if you try it, comment below and tell me what it's like. Do not forget to share this video and also subscribe to my channel so you can receive more delicious recipes like these. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye and do enjoy. It is cooked to perfection.